Hi guys, so in this quick video I'm just going to be showing you how to take a normal regular photo and make it look like a graffiti stencil. And this can look great on anything if you want to uh, include the image on an actual urban wall or on a landscape or you know anything you want to do to manipulate your image and make it look like it's on a wall or in a city or you can actually just use it on a poster or a white poster or you know this kind of white paper texture or anything it, it looks really effective when you use it in any way so I'm just gonna be showing you this quickly and it really doesn't take that long but the effect it creates looks great so let's just start by going to image adjustments and you want to just go to your brightness and contrast and make sure that use legacy is checked and you want to bring up your brightness to about five or ten and then you want to bring up the contrast pretty high now I want to use some of this detail in the final image so I'm going to not bring up the contrast too high as to get rid of the grey shadows but I'm going to bring it up high enough to get rid of some of them so once that's done just press OK then what you want to do now is you want to go to image adjustments and threshold now again I want some of the detail so I'm going to bring this up quite high once that's done again just press OK now to get that really soft spray paint effect we want to go to filter we want to go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And mine's on about on a radius of about one pixel, but it's completely up to you what you do. Obviously, you like it in a different way. Then next, you want to go to filter, noise, and you want to add a little bit of noise just to get that detail you'd get if you were using actual spray paint. Now, making sure that the background is editable by getting rid of the little lock, you want to just delete all the white areas. Now this can be quite tedious, but once it's done, you'll see why I did it. The mouse isn't very responsive, it's quite frustrating. Having to press pretty hard. Hmm. Okay, so once that's pretty much done, you want to just select the entire layer, you can do this by pressing Control and A or just by using the mark A tool and dragging it over and you want to just copy the layer now I'm going to copy it first onto this urban wall now what we want to do then is change the layer blending mode to darken colour Now you're probably thinking, well that doesn't really look like graffiti. Well, and you'd be right if you thought that. So what we want to do is we want to duplicate the actual background layer, drag it on top of your graffiti stencil, and just change the layer style to pin light. And then what you want to do is you want to use the, a destructive eraser, preferably a grunge preset or whatever, and make sure the opacity is on about 80 or 90%, not 100. And you want to just go over the top layer making sure you're capturing some of the detail from the wall in on your graffiti stencil and as you can tell already this does look pretty great and this effect can be used as I said on anything, it can be used on these walls or it can be used on paper effect or it's completely up to how you manipulate your image Okay, so once that's done, we want to get rid of these straight lines, because obviously if it was a stencil, it wouldn't be like that. Okay, then what we do now is you can use some spray paint brushes. Now, I've linked some in the description below, some really great ones, which I thought looked really effective, which you can use. So obviously you want to change the brush colour to black. And you want to just start spraying around the image. Now I've done this on a separate layer so I can edit it afterwards without actually editing the stencil layer. And what you can do then, you start to really add these sprays. Which do make the image look a lot more realistic. They make it look more like it's a bit of spray work and not just, you know, a photoshopped image, which it is. Oh. Getting quite clumsy with the mouse today. And then what you can do, obviously, is 
erase this if it's necessary to. Sorry about that guys, just my phone going off. Okay, so you can see already that this is starting to look really quite effective. Now what you want to do is make sure that your stencil doesn't go over any walls because obviously in reality it wouldn't. Okay, and that looks really great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge these two layers together. I'm going to copy this over to here. And again, you can see what I mean by using it on like a paper texture. It does look great. And you can play around with your layer styles to see what kind of effect you want to have. And it does look pretty great. I'm going to just get rid of those lines there. And what you can do, once you've done this, is add a gradient map. Which can produce these really nice effects with the sprays. But yeah, it's completely up to you how you use it. I thought you might appreciate this tutorial because obviously it's something new, something fresh and something different which you can play around with. And obviously this can be affected on back, this can be effective on backgrounds, effective on any kind of graphic design and I think it looks great. So thank you for watching and staying with me until now in this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and found it useful and I'll see you guys in another tutorial.